Hey guys, what is up? This is Nath Davis Media once again, and uh, I decided to do another video where I'm just walking around in my room uh, because uh, I really do not feel like using earbuds on my laptop, and apparently the microphone for my phone is better, but anyways, uh, welcome to another movie review, aka after I saw this time, and it's for the Meg, and some stuff has changed around. Uh, one of my shelves is right there, the other one is right in front of me because I got a new bed. While I was at my grandma's house, and anyways, uh, so yeah. Alright, so The Meg is a new shark movie that stars Jason Statham, and apparently these guys go deep into the ocean, and they unleash this shark called a Megalodon, which is the biggest shark, like, on the entire planet, and a lot of them, apparently they were known to be extinct, but, uh, there was basically one, or, this might be a spoiler, I'm not sure if they actually mentioned this, but, uh, there's more than one, actually, which I'm not sure they mentioned in the trailer, but there is more than one. And, uh, so yeah, at first I was like, okay, it doesn't seem like it would be taking itself too seriously. I mean, for shark movies, I could say the last good one was The Shallows. That film really surprised me. And, uh, there was also 47 Meters Down, which for some reason is getting a sequel. And when it came to this film, I can say... It was what I expected. I found myself enjoying most of the film. It certainly... It wasn't a great movie, and it wasn't a bad movie. I could say it was just... I, I can say I enjoyed it. I enjoyed... Mainly the stuff I enjoyed was... I enjoyed the fact that it never took itself too seriously. It knows it's ridiculous, and the effects are cheesy at some times. I saw this in 3D, however... The effects, excuse me, the effects, most of the effects were actually really good, at least underwater. I saw this in 3D and it looked absolutely stunning, at least for the first few, at least when not really big stuff is happening, like when they're underneath the ocean. It looks absolutely amazing, like uh, the creatures, like the whales, there are whales in this and stuff like that it looks absolutely breathtaking. And, uh, other than that, uh, Jason Statham, I can say, gives a pretty top-notch performance. I can say he, his character is likable, but not really memorable. He's not a Chief Brody or anything like that. Uh, but, uh, for the most part, uh, he was pretty good. As for everybody else, they're pretty forgettable for the most, for the most part. There is some humor, some jokes here and there. A couple I found worked really well, like there's this one part, which I'm not going to spoil, involving Jason Statham when he's swimming. There's, I thought what he was saying was actually pretty funny when he was swimming. If you see the movie, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And I'm just walking around and my dog is barking. Uh, sorry, now I'm over at my window. But anyways, uh, so yeah, Jason Statham is top notch. Although, um, you don't really see the shark until 35 minutes into the movies. Uh, it's just, the for the first 35 minutes, it's starting to build up some stuff, like, with the characters and stuff. But the characters really weren't that memorable. And it does drag on for quite a while until we see, like, how they're going into the ocean with the shark. How they, well, not with the shark, when they see the shark. And, uh... Also, I feel that the movie is a bit too long. Like, it's at, like, an hour 50-something minutes. I thought if they just kept it on the hour and 30-minute mark, I thought it would have been just right. Although, there have been, um... Although, yeah, Jaws is two hours long. But that's definitely a more entertaining film, believe it or not, in my opinion. And I thought uh, the character build-up in that film was a lot better. Although, there was this little girl in this movie that... Stole most of the show for me. But uh, for the most part, um, it does drag on a little bit to build something up. Like, it never really built anything. There are times when it picks up, and then, like, for the last 30 minutes, it, it can be pretty cheesy and kind of predictable. Except for one part, actually, which I'm not going to get into. So overall, I had fun with the Meg, believe it or not. It never takes itself too seriously. It has some... It's pretty entertaining. Some of the effects are good. Some of them aren't. But all in all, I could say for the most part, it's an enjoyable film. I wouldn't say I would watch it again. Maybe once in a while, if friends come over, I could pop it in. I'm not sure if I'd buy it on Blu-ray, though. But uh, for the most part, 
it's an enjoyable watch. I'll give the movie a three and a half out of five. So yeah, that's kind of fair for this film. So yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I have so many movies that I want to see. Um, like, uh, I know Slender Man came out. So I don't know when I'm going to see that. But, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Word out.